Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Thursday, the 26th of April, and this is my daily stock signals video, taking just one of our signals from our membership service and setting up on a chart and, and using it as an example. So in our members area, our members get both long and short trade signals every day for the weekly, daily, and 60-minute time frames for that fifth wave move of an Elliott wave sequence. And that's the highest probability move in a trend. So that's long or short, a very high probability trade. So I've chosen shorts again today. Chosen, uh, chose a short yesterday. So members, just click in the short trades area, click on the image there, and download the spreadsheet. So have a quick look at the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet today for potential shorts. You can see on the bottom there, weekly, daily, and 60 minute. This is the daily time frame, and these are the potential shorts setting up for today. I've chosen one of these as an example. Let's go and have a look at the chart. So I've chosen XEC on the daily time frame for a potential short. So very briefly, the filters on the scanner results for our membership Give us the 535 oscillator, this oscillator down here near the bottom, pulling back between 90 and 140% on this wave 4 pullback. Remember, we're trading the fifth wave. Also, the stochastic has pulled back against a main trend. You can see by these yellow dots here is a main bearish trend. It's pulled back in the overbought zone and is looking to cross to go back down. And then thirdly, our wave 4 pullback has pulled back into one of our automated high probability zones so that before we go through the setup just for those members that have the Elliott wave indicator suite from wave5trade.com uh, this is an indie trader version uh, we also have it available for thinkorswim trade station and multi charts now i've isolated the wave cap at the highs around about mid january we have a look here we had a slightly lower high here we did down so this is all correction here and this really was the start in January of this bearish trend and we've pulled back against that in recent times so now we're looking for it to return back to its bearish trend so let's zoom in a little bit look at the entry so again we've got the wave 4 pulling back into our green zone right at the top of the green zone there and that green zone represents an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 low into our automated target target zone down here in blue around about 84 dollars something like that so with entry it's quite simple we look for a stop loss above the wave 4 uh, for, for here i've gone for around 103.10 um, for the stop loss now the entry is below the 6-4 moving average low this is the red moving average low here part of our Elliott wave indicator suite uh, and used for our entry strategy uh, we also look at previous price action but this was a really long-term bearish trend this pullback's been very nice it's found good resistance it may go deeper yet I don't know at the moment the we can't go too much deeper because the 535 is right towards the limit of the 140 percent this starts to need to come down although we had a green day yesterday it was a lower low a lower high we would look for that to continue today may not trigger today but a 95 97 is the sensible entry for this still giving us a risk to reward between stop loss and entry and target of 1 to 1.6 which is our minimum that we like when we're trading some these fifth wave trades so that's it for today very simple setup for XEC on the daily time frame for a potential short have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow